через 4. Today we're heading deep into the Kazakh desert, around a four hour drive from Aktau, past the vast oil fields of southwestern Kazakhstan, to a magical corner of the country unknown to so many. We've taken a tour and are heading east with a lovely group of people from all over Kazakhstan, as well as Russia, and of course the UK. The bus is a little tight, even for us, but the place we're heading is so worth the cramp. After arriving in the heart of the desert, we turned off the road and continued down a dirt track for around an hour, until finally we reached stop number one of three. Aga? Wow! So this is actually our first stop. We left about 11 and we've been driving for about four hours and we arrived here. These are the multicolored hills of Kizilkup, stretching more than 10 kilometers from east to west and eight kilometers from north to south. They are formed by sedimentary rocks of different colors, orange, red, cherry, white. It's similar to its more famous cousin, Rainbow Mountain in Peru, and locals often refer to this place as the Tiramisu. This otherworldly landscape is like nowhere else we've ever seen. So we've only stopped here for half an hour, according to the guide. She said, in as many words, any more than that, and you're gonna get heat stroke. <laughs> and I can see why. We're a minute out of the van and it is incredibly hot. But Speaking thankfully, of which, <laughs> I think let's uh, not wait any longer and uh, use this up quickly. While Matt is taking some drone clips, you and I are going up there. So you can go all the way up there and I started to make my way there but then I chickened out. <laughs> Apparently, oop, nearly broke my leg. Apparently our guide told us that if um, you fall from there you may injure yourself, break something but you're not likely to, you know, die. But I still don't fancy falling and uh, I'm a bit worried about Matt. <laughs> because he's steady there in the sun, so I'm just going to bring him some water. Gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Can't wait to see. Did you go up the top? So, you can go up the top there, uh -huh. and I started walking, but then people were coming the other direction and I sort of chickened out. Not sort of, I chickened out. And then I started worrying about you because it's hot and you're standing there with no water, so it's your fault, really. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's so hot. It is absolutely but not. it's Feel the drone. Oh, Here. wow. Wow. Mm -hmm. That is crazy. But to be honest with you, this place is just mind blowing. I've never seen anything like that. Even on the pictures, I don't think, it's just... <sighs> hard to put into words, really, because it looks unreal. Looks like, or seems like, we're just dreaming. And apparently this place is an ancient ocean. And apparently, again, our guide told us that around this rock, you may try to find some remains to find something you actually need to dig so she was like if you have a metal detector or like you know any utensils <laughs> unfortunately not with me if i knew i would have brought that with me 100 percent apparently in the winter all these red colors are getting even brighter even more red to be honest i i wish could just stay here for hours and just look at everything but first we're not allowed to and second I think if I stay in the sun for a little longer I might not be able to leave this place Yeah, she's still a Tamastavela. Do 
тоже? Ты ходила? Нет. Да? да? Жарко очень, да? After half an hour in the 50 degree heat of Kizil Kup, we headed further into the desert and up onto the Urstyurt Plateau, a stunning part of the desert stretching all the way across into Uzbekistan. I don't ha I don't think I have the vocabulary both in Russian or English to describe this. this. Honestly, this feels like being on Mars or Moon. FYI, we've been told that um, here we should be careful where we step because if we sleep, we go down pretty confidently. The viewpoint is stunning, but the place we're heading next, well, this is the one we've all been waiting for. Heading back along the dirt roads and tracking the cliff face for about 30 minutes, we arrived at one of Kazakhstan's most beautiful natural wonders. This is Bozjira. This otherworldly place looks out over the entire Erstia Plateau, all the way from here to Uzbekistan. The famous limestone peaks of Bozjira stretch up into the sky resembling fangs and casting an incredible shadow over what otherwise is an empty desert. Well, talk about saving the best place till last. This is just... <laughs> I'm speechless, to be honest. It's incredible. I mean, you see pictures of places online and you think, wow, that's incredible. But I don't know, some places you go to and in real life you think, yeah, it's beautiful, but this is just like a thousand times better than the photos. Wow, just incredible. It's so silent up here as well. Apart from my voice waffling on and on and on. <laughs> I think as well because when you look at the picture, well, with me anyway. I can't quite picture the scale of it. But when you're here and you see it all, actually see how vast it is, it's just a different level. It isn't often you get to fully experience the full majesty of Mother Nature without being surrounded by human infrastructure. But here, above the Urstiot Plateau, there is nothing but untouched beauty. So this whole area, when you're driving up to it, you wouldn't know this drop was here, but the earth just falls away. The desert just drops away about three or four hundred meters into this incredible valley. It's just unbelievable. Honestly, it's so, so beautiful. More than 65 million years ago, this area was actually the bottom of an ancient ocean. And as Julia said back in Kizil Kup, this entire area is littered with both fossils and traces of its ancient past. After the desert picnic, there was one last chance to soak in the views before the four and a half hour journey back to Aktau. And of course, we took longer than everyone and left them all waiting in the van. Let's go. Thank 
we are finally back. Feels like a different day. Oh, well, I forgot where the light switch was. <laughs> it's only what our second night here. Um, that was quite something, wasn't it? To be honest with you, it kind of felt like it was such a long way to go, and then obviously to come back. But uh, it felt a bit rushed in a way. However, all tours are like that, really. But realistically, I don't think even like physically we could take any longer each location. That's, to be honest, that's why that's what I was saying. Like it was, it definitely felt a little bit rushed. But also for us, everything feels rushed because we've, we're not only like seeing a place we want to film it and we won't have time to fly the drone and stuff like that. Yeah. So maybe that's why Definitely. but i don't yeah i don't think we could have took any more of that heat no. that was incredible though. that was what intense was that was probably like the worst we've ever experienced that we've never experienced anything that hot no the first it the was... first place was like she said it was nearly 50 degrees nearly 50. And yeah and that was the also one of the lowest part uh, places on earth it's the lowest place in central asia and the fifth lowest on earth that region so yeah i mean it's mega hot and it, it was mega hot surprisingly in the middle of august right yeah i thought it's going to cool down in august that's why we came here in august um no uh i've got surprised but yeah that was amazing like the scenery and you know what you expect well i expect to see something like that on the moon <laughs> maybe mars but it's just unfathomable is it the right word? Unfathomable. Is it the right word? Do they say it, it right? Is, it is. It Unfathomable. Well, can't do it again. Unfathomable. It is unfathomable. <laughs> <laughs> Just give up. I, I um, love that though. That happens so often, doesn't it? Where you say a word, like I do it in Russian as well. I say it and I'm like, smashed it. That was a tongue twister. Do it again. Try to repeat it. Never again. Never happens. <laughs> but yeah, you expect to see something like that on a different planet and to actually realize how varied and incredible the earth is I, it's just like unbelievable i was saying when we were on top of the mountain like on top of the mountain on top of the the viewpoint looking over the desert like the way the the land just cuts off and then there's just these cliff faces mm -hmm. down into this into the desert below it's just, it's just unbelievable what, what nature can do and has done over hundreds of years without millions of years. Mil did I say hundreds of years? <laughs> oh my God. We only Tw had like think about six hours of sleep <laughs> in the last four days. <laughs> I think they it. made that in about 25 years, <laughs> that, that area. <laughs> it's pretty quick. Yeah, she was only dried up properly yesterday. Yeah, it did, yeah, yeah, yeah. She was saying that. There was fish and everything yesterday. <laughs> hundreds of years, oh my uh, God. Yeah, functioning on about two hours sleep last night. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, if that's the start for Kazakhstan, this is only our first two days here, then, oh my God, what's to come is going to be absolutely incredible. So I cannot wait, to be honest. I'm so happy we're here. They actually know that the nature here is absolutely insane, so absolutely can't wait. 100%. And thanks for watching this video. See you in the next one.